What's up guys and welcome back to Soft Bernardo Solutions and today we're talking about Spider-Man Remastered. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this game is out and it is one amazing game, but a lot of people are having FPS problems with this game and I know a lot of people out there need an FPS boost guide for this game right now. It is a remastered version of Spider-Man, so they brought it to PCs because obviously this is a console-based game, but they brought it to PC, which is amazing and a lot of people are looking forward to it. I was looking forward to it because I always wanted to just sit back, lay on my bed, play with my Nintendo Switch controller and play the this game and see how it performs and it performs really well depending on what settings you use now ladies and gentlemen let me show you what settings you're going to be using to get the best performance out of this game and let's jump straight into that and let me show you what you need to do right ladies and gentlemen as you can see i'm on, on my desktop right now so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and type in settings just like this and press enter and then open up your update and security and make sure that you have all the latest updates for windows please go ahead and do this i highly suggest you go ahead and do this a lot of people don't actually go and do their updates it's just very very important for you to go ahead and do this i highly recommend you go ahead and do that once you're done with that you go to the home button and you're going to go to privacy and you're going to scroll all the way down over here and you're going to go to background apps now a lot of people don't have this off i'm just going to show you all of these things over here is going to run in the background while you're playing the game if you have it on like this now you can switch them off individually each and every one of these and depend on, depending on the one that you actually use you can leave it on but it's your own personal preference I highly recommend you just go ahead and switch this off just like this and then leave it off once you're done with that you're going to go to the home button and then go to gaming over here and go to gaming mode now for a lot of machines out there depending on what machine you are running if you're running a mid-tier gaming pc a high-end gaming pc or a low-end gaming pc it's going to depend on the, your machine if you're running nvidia if you're running amd if you're running intel graphics cards it doesn't doesn't really matter but it's your own personal preference now for me with my machine that i'm running I'm running a 9700K and I'm running 16 gigs of RAM and I'm running an RTX 2060 OC and everything's been overclocked, my CPU, my RAM and my GPU. Now, for me, when I turn this on, I don't get an increase in FPS in any of my games. In fact, literally in any of my games. If I switch it off, it looks exactly the same. So it has no purpose for me. It might have for you, if you go ahead and put this on and your game's more stable or it runs better, whatever the case might be, then that's your answer then leave it on, okay? For me, I leave it off and my game runs exactly the same if I put it on or off, it doesn't do anything for me. Okay, once you're done with that, you're going to click over here where it says graphics settings. Just click over there and you're going to add Spider-Man inside here. Now, it's very easy to do. You just click on browse and then go to your Steam, go to Steam apps, go to common, find your Spider-Man, add it inside here the exe file and go to options and go to high performance so it selects your graphics card and say save and then close out of this all right ladies and gentlemen the next step i'm going to show you is with nvidia graphics cards now this is for people out there that's running nvidia graphics cards only i'm not an amd person i don't use amd cards i run nvidia graphics cards now if you are a video graphics card person and you use a video graphics card highly recommend you go ahead and do this go to adjust image settings with preview like this go to use the advanced 3d image settings then it's going to say take me there now basically if you click here it's just going to take you here now all you need to do is just follow this over here follow all of these steps you can pause the video if you want to and make sure that they look exactly the same like mine all right, so obviously select your graphics card here, put this on prefer maximum performance, default driver on, clamp quality on, auto off, use the 3D application settings one off. And then obviously you're just going to put that on four and you're going to put that on two. I highly recommend you go ahead and copy all of these settings. This way it says CUDA GPUs. Can you see it says all? Please go ahead and select your graphics card and say okay. Once you're done with that, you're just going to say apply. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to config and surround over here and physics, just like this. Now it's just applying these settings. You're going to go over here and don't say auto select, don't say CPU. Click on your GPU that you're currently running and then say apply, and it's going to apply your GPU to your NVIDIA control panel. All right. Something that you can do to make your game look a little bit better on your display or on your monitor is go to adjust desktop color 
settings just like this and go to your digital vibrance i highly recommend clicking on the third picture and then look how dull it becomes if you take it more down my sweet spot is 85 for my screen that i'm using right now depending on your monitor or your display is going to depend on where you put this so you don't have to use nvidia filters because nvidia filters intend to make you drop fps so go ahead and just change this. It works exactly the same like NVIDIA filters. NVIDIA filters is a little bit more advanced, but if you do want more frames, just change the digital vibrance to your own personal preference and say apply. And then once you're done with that, you're just going to say apply and then close out of this. And then from here, I'm going to jump straight into the game, show you the settings that I'm currently using for the Spider-Man Remastered version and what you're going to be setting your settings to depending on the machine that you're running. All right, let's jump straight into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in Spider-Man New Master right now. And all you need to do is just go to the settings over here at the bottom and then go to display and graphics, just like this. And you're going to go to display your number one thing that you're going to be changing. Okay, so your monitor is your native monitor that you're currently running or your display. You're going to put this at full screen and please don't change it. Just leave it at full screen. It's, it's just for the best. Just trust me on this. It's for the best, okay? Your display resolution, obviously you're going to put this at the highest it can go to, depending on the monitor or the display that you are currently running. Aspect ratio, you're going to keep this at auto. V-Sync, I highly recommend changing this from on to off, depending if you are getting screen tearing. V-Sync is there for screen tearing. If you're experiencing screen tearing, then go ahead and switch this on. I leave mine off, so I uncap my FPS, plus I don't get screen tearing while I'm playing my game. In fact, all my games that I play, I put V-Sync off, so I uncap my FPS, and the game runs but a little bit better. Brightness, it's your own personal preference. Uh, then upscaling is a very big thing in this game. It's a very, very big thing. Now, NVIDIA DLSS is out for people that have cards like me or a card like me, a NVIDIA graphics card. Then you have AMD. So if you have an AMD graphics card, you can go ahead and change it to this. And then you can change these things over here. Trust me, um, ultra performance looks really bad uh, uh, in this game. In general, uh, I'm not an AMD user, but if I go to DLSS and I put this on Ultra Performance, the game looks really, really bad. Um, then there's people that don't have NVIDIA DLSS or they don't have this AMD type of graphics cards at all. So they have this off. So if you have this off, I highly recommend putting this onto off. Don't change it. And then this you're going to put on DLAA and then you're going to apply these settings. So I'm going to apply it and I'm just going to show you how good the game looks. Um, let me just change the audio quickly because this is something that's going to annoy me. So I'm going to put this down. All right. So this is without DLSS and without using AMD's things. All right. So let me just show you how good the game looks. Alright, so that's with that settings that I'm currently using, okay? That's for people without NVIDIA DLSS or without AMD graphics cards, and they only use this that I'm showing now, where you put this on DLAA. Go ahead and do that. It makes the game look really, really good, okay? I will not lie to you. It look, makes the game look really, really good. It doesn't look all blurred out. The quality doesn't look bad. It doesn't look all flushed out quality the game looks really good with DLAA okay so now for a lot of people out there that has no video graphics cards then you use DLSS and you put this on quality the game looks good on quality and then you keep the sharpness um, on one and I'm just going to show you how this looks so I'm going to apply the settings and as you can see the game looks really good like this really really good Okay, and then obviously AMD. I do not have an AMD graphics card, so unfortunately I'm not going to change this to AMD and then go and change this to something I don't own. That's just being retarded. So DLSS, keep it at quality, keep this upscaling sharpness at one. It also depends on your monitor and then you should be good to go. Now, for, like I said before, for people out there that don't have NVIDIA DLSS or they don't have the best of graphics cards, go ahead and put this off and go ahead and put this on DLAA. Your game looks really, really good on DLAA. Trust me, try it out for yourself. It looks really good. All right, let's go to the graphics. I have mine at custom because I have texture quality at high. Um, texture filtering, I have at times 16. And then shadow quality, I have at high. I have this at SS. 
AO and then this I have at off, all right? Ray tracing, you can put this on if you have a strong enough computer. If you don't, and you're obviously watching this video to get more FPS out of your game, switch this off. Because if you're going to switch it on, you're going to start losing lots of frames, not just like 10, 20, you're going to lo lose like 30, 40, 50 FPS in your game, and you don't want that. So go ahead and switch this off. Then this, I highly recommend you can go ahead and just put these all on high. If you have a good enough machine to run this, um, like I said, I have a 9700K, I have 16 gigs of RAM, and I have an RTX 2060 OC, and everything has been overclocked. My CPU, my RAM, and my GPU, and I put all of these things on high, and the game looks really, really good, and I do really, really good FPS while I'm playing the game. Okay, this is obviously your own personal preference, is all of these at the bottom. My field of view I put on 25, stock, it's over here, so the game's a bit closer to the character itself. So it's at zero, like this. It's a bit closer. I like mine to be at 25. So it looks like this. Um, I could see a little bit more on my left and right hand side. That's what field of view does. Um, and then this, you can just keep just like this. Okay. Now for a lot of people out there that has low end gaming PCs, traffic density, go ahead and put this at low. Crowd density, go ahead and put this at low. Air quality, you don't need that. Put it at low. And then water, you can also put at low, just like this. If you have a low end budget gaming PC, all right, depth of field, you're going to put this at low. Bloom, off, this, off, this, off, this, off, if you have a low-end gaming PC. Motion blur strength, you put it all the way down. Uh, field of view, personal, your own personal preference. This one, all the way down. Sharpness, you can play around with this and figure out which will be the best for you. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new here. And as always, peace.